Hey everybody, I am here with messages for Justin Bieber and his wife. Uh, we do notice a lot of changes that has happened in the last couple of weeks. And I uh, wanted to take a look and see what was going on. Um, their relationship will never be the same again. It has been tested. It needed it too. It was really good for them to be tested. Um, so the shifts and changes that has happened is really testing the foundation of this relationship. And it's testing Justin as a person. And is um, showing Haley that a lot of the stuff that Selena said was true. Uh, so this is a good thing. And I do believe that um, this could help this relationship in some type of way. But they could never go back to the way they were. They could never go back to this place and this island uh, pushing all of the sin and the unrighteousness away from them. And they stay perfect in their bubble. They can't do that anymore because they've been tested in the spirit. This is just the level of the relationship before you go into the new space or realm before you are elevated. Uh, this is another moment when you find yourself and see, do you still, um, see, do each other still like each other based on who they, um, who they really are. It's almost like each of them have opened up another part of their soul and they get to see, Oh, it's more than meets the eye. Okay, so that was real. That wasn't real. So they're dealing with this other part of themselves. They got an awakening. The things that's happening on the outside of them definitely cause an awakening in the relationship. And now they get to see if they're compatible on that level. Now they get to see if they still love each other and want to be with each other and still have that union on this level. Because at one point, everything was so perfect that they couldn't even see anything for a fact. So overall, they would never go back to the place that they were were in. Serious changes has been made and these changes have to be maintained, accepted, and a lot of problem solving is needed. So Justin pretty much is coming off of this protection stability. Why do it feel like he was given a wife in rehab and say, hey, this is your woman that I have made for you kind of like this Adam and Eve thing but this relationship has brought him so much stability it's gave him time to be better to be better be normal um, it gave him time to see that there is a lot of great things inside of you too I promise you he wasn't able to see this before he actually found out through her that there are some really great parts inside of him. Like, wow, I am the coolest. Wow, I am nice. I am gifted in that area. I didn't know that about myself. He learned about himself through her because she saw the best in him. She saw the best parts of him. Um, and a lot of times, um, in a, in, in a, how can I say? Uh, born again, new creature type stance. We uh, sometimes um, really want to treat that person like they're a totally new creature. Becoming a new creature is a process. And I believe that she looked at him as a total new creature. And now she's finding out that becoming a new creature is a process because you have to yield to the new spirit inside of you. And I think she's seeing that there are some things inside of him that is still there. So this relationship was built for him. It was given to him. He is thankful for it. This relationship has gave him stability and gave him time to get his head together, gave him time to heal. Um, he never uh, knew how he was going to take care of this relationship, how he was going to be present in it. Um, I have her feeding him. And not him feeding her. Um, I don't have him taking a lot of actions towards her. He was definitely, he's definitely not the lead in this relationship. She's the lead. He's been following her for some time. Yeah, he sees her as mothering, nurturing. And he's been following her for some time. Um, I keep hearing I don't want kids. I don't even know if they got kids or not. 
if they got kids, maybe he's tired of some of the parenting issues. But I also hear I don't want kids. Um, so you guys know more about this than me. Um, he, he He's afraid of fatherhood. I got that on here too. Because remember, this was a selfish relationship. This person was for himself. This was for him to build and become a better person. So when it comes to stretching, when it comes to how to move forward, how to keep it in order, he has no idea whatsoever on how to be a husband, how to be a husband, her man, her the father of her children. He doesn't know how to do any of that. It frightens him. He just needed a person there to help him become more stable. And all this other stuff was not even a plan for him or a desire. Um, he definitely received, received the medicine or received the healing that he needed from her. Because he's rising now. I can feel the ego coming back or rising up. I can feel the ego coming. I can feel options. I can feel um, the tug of war. I can feel the yeah, I can feel the options coming. You know, when you when you are committed to something, there's no options. And I can feel options coming around him. I can feel the options he's thinking about as far as um like I do have options maybe this is not for me they are questioning a lot of stuff right now but he definitely received the healing and stability and he became the king that he wanted to be wait till he find out that it wasn't because of her it was just a choice and a commitment that he put into himself um he's very very conflicted the chemistry between them two is really going down um, really separating. He doesn't have that chemistry with her. The more and more that he realizes that he don't need her, the more he will realize that I have to make a choice to be with her. So that's pretty much what's happening right now. Conflicted, um, definitely losing passion and feeling disconnected from her. And actually all that's really going on is that he's rising up and becoming a person that he needs to be. The one who knows himself, able to make a choice, able to deal with mistakes, able to deal with the facts, able to make solutions and things like that. So options is coming in. He's down, He don't want to be married no more. Not as of right now. Um, and he feel it strongly. So a lot is about to shift for him right here in this Aquarius season. He's about to realize how much he don't want to be married, how much he don't want to do the family thing, how much he don't want to be a father or or if he's a father, then how much he don't like the parenting skills that they may have. He want a new world. He want to escape. That, that's what happens sometimes when you use another person to heal you. You tend to get healed or get stronger and then realize that you didn't need them. And then you want to go off and do your own thing because you're strong enough. You learned enough. At least that's what you believe. So the relationship will never be the same. This is where they at. I don't know if this is communicated to her or not. I guess we'll find out in a second. <laughs> but in this Aquarius season, he will be testing um, this relationship and he will be losing his desire to be in this marriage, wanting something new, wanting to see if there's even more out there for him. And of course it is if he wants it. Um, I have her not knowing how this relationship was going to go. It was really, uh, um, how can I say this? She took a chance. Like, you know, being with you, I had to take a chance too. I didn't know what, who you were going to be and who you were going to become. I did this off faith. I did this because I believed in the best in you. So she really had this unknown thing happening inside of her, not knowing what was what was going to be and what it will become. But she ministered to him. <clears throat> She's been ministering to him. She's been talking to him in his stoppages and pauses and um, not being able to move in, in all of his personal baggage and restrictions. She's been talking to him. She's been his pastor. 
She's been the leader. She's been the pastor. She's been his spiritual lead. She did not know who he was and she still don't know who he is. And she is learning about him. Now she's learning because it's obvious God just gave them time and peace and protected them and gave them a um, <clears throat> hedge of protection around them. And now it's time to test it and um, they can t- win. It's just always it's a choice. You know, you're always perfect until you got temptation in front of you. You you know, you're always perfect when you're strong. But what happens when um What happens when you got to make the decision? What happens when you got to show God your faith? That's what this kind of feels like. So she was not sure about how things is going to go in this relationship. Uh, her communication kept this relationship together. Her words. She learned how to speak a perfect way to enter his spirit. Um, she became his leader. She became his spiritual lead. Um and that's who she is. And she was happy that he was growing, happy he's growing, happy he was rising up. And as he was rising up, she did not stand in his way because she had believed that the words that were spoken and the agreements and the promises that they made promises like little kids. Like, do you promise to always call me at seven o'clock? It's immature promises that they kind of made. And um, she believed in the promises and the words that they kept between each other. However... This um, album and these things that's going on with Selena has tested their relationship to the highest power. And um, I do get some opinions about that as well, but I haven't did her messages, so I hate to give it without that. But um, I do feel like it was some revenge in it. And some healing. I think it was 50-50. But when those things came out and she began to see him shift like that, um, she started to believe some of the things that were said. She actually um, connect with Selena on the things that she talked about, about Justin. And that scared her. It's one thing just to hear, he did this, he did that, he did this. But Selena talked about things in the spirit. She talked about the inner pieces of her and how it re how it connected to him and how it was affected by him. And she learned some things about herself that they are experiencing some of the same things. Yeah. Because that ego rose up inside of Justin when he heard about it. And like, how could you say my name? How could you say my name? And I felt like that with him. Like, how could you say his name? I mean, call it a spirit and keep moving. Justin really felt like she came for the marriage. She came for the marriage. She came for the home. She came for the stability. She she came as an attacker. Um, and But that's what happens when you got that ego, narcissist thing going on in you from time to time. You will not accept your own doing. And it's something in his spirit, it, it really shook him when that happened and caused this other portion of him to rise up because he felt like she fought him. She hit him. Yeah. So this is like spiritually frustrated about what was said because it throws his life off. And he's pissed about his life being thrown off because everything was stable and he was rising. Now, this stuff is being said. I got this album coming out. And you're affecting my money. You're affecting my new life. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that happened, I get it. I hear what you say. That's pretty much how he probably felt about her. Like, I get what you say. I I heard that that happened. I acknowledge it. But the truth is, he really doesn't acknowledge it because it wouldn't be frustrating like this. But I think her saying his name really, really bothered him. That's just like not Hollywood etiquette, but what is these days? Well, once again, um, his wife seen that behavior in him. She connects with Selena and some of the things that she said and um, it scared her so much and it's scaring her so much that she is trying to go back to those original words that she said before. So she's coming to Justin like, hey, remember what we said? Remember how we act? Remember what we do? Remember how we pray? Remember what we're supposed to say? That's not working right now. 
That's not working because this ego has been broken. This relationship will never be the same. She's waiting on him to emotionally connect, not understanding that he is emotionally disconnecting. Um, she's stuck in her mind. She's trapped. I see her getting advice and help. She does not know how to start over new with him. She don't know where to go next. She is very, very confused. All she want to do is be joined at the hip again like they was from the very beginning. Aquarius season, Justin will be um, not making decisions, but definitely crying out um, kind of like this. Why me? What about me? What about me and why me? And even that yummy record is a fake because that type of passion is not even going on between them two. If that's what he was trying to say, that's just what he desires. He desires it to be yummy, but um, that's not even happening right here. Not at all. Um, will they break up? I don't see them breaking up anytime too soon. I do feel some heavy changes and decision making in Capricorn season at the end of this year. But I do see them bearing through the process right now. I do think that we will see some um, physical changes in Justin. Because I actually see him getting his hair cut or some type of makeover or something. I do feel like we will be seeing a makeover sometime in Aquarius season. We might see him change his style up to another type of style. I just heard Justin Timberlake suit and tie. Um, just heard that song just played in my head. I'm a music girl. Um, but I do think we will see some changes. I do think we will see him disconnecting and, and being a different person from what we saw. You know, he done became so many different people. Um, the truth is all of these people are him and he just have to learn self-control and balance and keep it real. But I do see a makeover. I do see, um... Him disconnecting from the marriage. I um, think we may see him out more. Um, yeah. I do see them trying to fix this, negotiate this, compromise. But I do see some changes at the end of the year. Do he want Selena? No, he do not. Not at all. Uh, I think he even may be open to a conversation with her later this year or if needed feels like a closure thing and then again they probably just got closure in the spirit now i want to you know what i was thinking like is this is this a stunt is this publicity stunt is this fake is this stuff happening for attention which part is the attention getter is the is the the attention thing is i'm pretend like my marriage is yummy or is Selena involved in helping him get sales and attention right now? I don't know. Somebody asked me to find out if this was all real right now. And I'm going to say yes, but I'll just double check. I don't see no games in this one. I don't see. I see real life. I see real life. I also see that wife will fake it till she make it, though. But she don't know how to handle Hollywood. So we can learn a lot just watching her. Because she can't handle Hollywood. She's not going to be able to handle it. No, this is all real. There's nothing fake going on. Okay. Alrighty. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.